Is the country being held hostage by those who choose to not get vaccinated? Some experts say that things could get back to normal if everybody just did their part, but that's not happening and some very well known people are getting fed up with it. So here's what Howard Stern had to say about this on his Sirius XM show. When are we going to stop putting up with the idiots in this country and just say you now it's mandatory to get vaccinated? <laughs> them, their freedom. I want my freedom to live. I want to get out of the house. So meantime, Jimmy Kimmel definitely shocked some fans when he suggested that the unvaccinated patient should not get ICU beds. Did he go too far? You be the judge. Watch. Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. I know that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. <laughs> Al, as a Ooh. comic, what do you think about comics tackling this? You, you know, as I looked at that clip, I thought about the fact that I've had a rule for most of my career that I don't go, when I'm headlining, I don't go out and see the opening acts because I don't want to see them have a nasty interaction with the table potentially, and then I go out there and have a predisposed anger towards that table. And I think Jimmy Kimmel, obviously, let's not forget he's had a son that was sick. very sick. Yeah. And so I think we're starting to see the comedy melt away almost like the outer layer of a, a piece of candy and there's just the anger there and people really don't go to their comedians for that doesn't make their comedians bad people it makes them people but at the same time i think from you heard from the audience reaction they were kind of like oh that's that's not even a joke that's a statement yeah and i felt immediately about his son immediately his son of course when he was born had heart surgery really bad heart problems very immune compromised there felt like a dad anger kind of coming out and mm. that anger is coming out more and more and to me it's like you either decide that you're going to sacrifice for a civilized modern society or you don't and at that point we're so i can't teach you to care about other people. Yeah, but do you think this works? And I'm with you, believe yeah. me, you know my story. So I'm pro-vax, right. and I would love to see everybody get vaccinated, but I'm not comfortable with creating this other group. That's why I wanted, the, to be honest, the mandate in the first place, because you don't, you, you But how would a mandate look this. in your eyes? How, what if somebody, your neighbor, does not want to get vaccinated? Well, how would that look in your eyes? Meaning, like, for instance, Biden will announce today all federal employees are getting mandated vaccines and they will not be able to get out of that with a test. You can't just keep testing negative. It's mandated. They've done that before. That's not rocket science. They've done it with polio, with measles, with mumps, with dis yeah, but diphtheria. I don't know if we had that big of a disconnect back then. So if we have this much of a divide and your neighbor doesn't want to get vaccinated and it's mandated, I'm not talking about just the federal employees, but constituents. Sure. What does that look like? Does that mean they, if they say, no, 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 I'm not getting vaccinated, you drag them out and then you vaccinate them in the street? Like, I, believe me, I'm with you. Right. I want everybody to be vaccinated, but I'm concerned. And that's when why you, I don't think we can have one. We can't. When you create an other group, all of a sudden those people aren't people anymore, but they are still human beings. And I'm with you. We need to have responsibility, but I'm not comfortable with this but it's already right now the other and us. And if we mandate it, it normalize it until it's just goalie all that mandating. Well, we've done it before. We've done it since Erica. Well, I just think that uh, people respond to things to the degree that it affects them. And for people who are very much saying that they do not ever want to get vaccinated, there are a lot of people who are saying they don't want to get vaccinated. They work for themselves. Like these mandates in terms of big business and corporations don't actually affect them. But then there are people who, like Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel, right? Yes. I always mess that up. Uh, Kimmel, um, who I can understand the anger from coming from those groups as well because they're losing money. A lot of people are losing money. If you think about the opportunities to create more jobs or to create anything where we're coming together in a mass capacity, people are losing money. And I think when you start talking about money, then it affects your family. And then you're talking about your livelihood and your ability to keep up your, um, the way that you live. So I think it's personal for everybody. And that's the issue. That's the reason why it's so contentious. I just think it stops becoming personal when it's contagious, if that makes sense. I agree with you. Yeah. But if your end goal is to get people vaccinated, I don't think ostracizing people, in my opinion, is going to bring you that Fair. goal. So Fair. I think we need to be 10 steps ahead if we all want the same goal. That's all I'm saying. Totally. All right. Good conversation. Mm -hmm. And we're not, I should just button this, we're not talking about those individuals who cannot get medically 
vaccinated because they Thank are autoimmune compromised. Mm -hmm. That is so important to um, state.